I'm gonna walk through how to set up and install Google Analytics 4 on WordPress. So there's really two main options that I like to utilize. Uh, the first one's gonna be installing the GA4 code directly into WordPress. And the second option, which is my preferred method, is gonna be installing GA4 inside of Google Tag Manager and then installing Google Tag Manager into WordPress. Now, the reason I prefer to use Google Tag Manager is it's gonna allow you to stay organized as you start adding new marketing or new tracking tags to your website. You can add them all inside of the Google Tag Manager interface and you don't need to edit your code or your theme file in WordPress directly. So you just need to install Tag Manager once and then you could utilize Tag Manager to add the future code you're gonna to add to your website. Uh, but let's start with installing GA4 manually. So when you log into your account, are you gonna click admin? And then once you click admin, you'll go to data stream. And then from here, we're gonna see the data stream that's available. Here's our measurement ID. So this is what we're gonna use if we were gonna go the Google Tag Manager route. But because we're installing this manually, we're gonna scroll down to view tag instructions. This is gonna take us to the installation options. Uh, there are some plugins you can use, but first we're gonna look at uh, the manual method. So we're gonna click on install manually, and then this is going to give us our uh, tracking tag here. So I'm gonna click copy. Then when we log into WordPress, uh, what we're gonna do is go under appearance and then theme file editor. This is gonna give us access uh, to our website theme files. And on the right side, now sometimes you may need to adjust uh, the theme if there's like a child theme or variation. So this little drop down could be important if you're not seeing uh, what we need to see here. But what we're looking for is header.php. This is gonna be the header file for the website. Now you can see I already have Google Tag Manager installed here. So this is where we would place the Google Tag Manager code. Um, but for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the Google Analytics 4 code right here. And all we need to do is click update file and now that will be saved. I'm gonna remove that because I already have Google Tag Manager installed. Uh, once you do that, what I like to do is actually go to the website. And there's a couple ways you could, you could check if that's installed. You could view the source code of the page. And in this case, we have Google Tag Manager, so you could just look for it right underneath head. Um, you could also search for your ID. So in the GA4 example, this is what we would search for, this measurement ID to find it. Uh, for Tag Manager, you would typically search GTM and then your ID number. And if you see that in the code, you know you're installed. Other option is the Google Tag Assistant Chrome extension. If you install this, um, all you need to do is click enable and then you can refresh the page and this will show you the tracking codes you have installed. And what we're looking for really is our GTM code or the GA4 code. Uh, we have two on here for a test account, but you would typically just see one of these GA4 codes with your correct ID. So that's gonna be one of the best options. Uh, there, are, there are plugins and you can you could pretty much search for GA4 WordPress plugins and you'll find a bunch of them. Um, if you don't want to actually edit your theme file, I tend to like to just add it to the theme file. So we're not adding extra unnecessary plugins, but a plugin could make it easy. When you download one, you would just add your GA4 ID to the plugin and then it will install the code for you. So that's really it to the manual method. Now using Google Tag Manager in terms of installation is exactly the same um, with one little nuance. So we're going to go open up the theme file editor again and go back to the header.php file. The only difference with Google Tag Manager is there's two pieces of code. There's one that goes right under the head section and then one that goes under the opening body tag. So you'll see this part of the code here. So if I go into Google Tag Manager, what we're gonna wanna do is after you have an account created, and we're not gonna get into all the details on setting up a Google Tag Manager account, we're gonna assume you have one. Um, you go to admin and then install Google Tag Manager. And this will give you those two pieces of code that you need to add to your website. So you'll see we have both of those here. The instructions on where to place them are right above. Now the advantage of this, if we go into tags here, these are all the tags we have currently installed. So you'll see we have a LinkedIn tag, we have a HubSpot tag, Microsoft Clarity, we have some GA4 events and page view tags, uh, Facebook. So we're able to manage all of our marketing tags in one place, which can be really beneficial as you start doing uh, more marketing, using different platforms, we don't now have all these pieces of code scattered throughout the website. Um, so to set up GA4, we'll just go over the basic uh, GA4 tag uh, to get basic data into GA4, the configuration tag. So we're gonna click new to set up a new GA4 tag. 
Now, you can name this whatever you want. You can name it GA4 tag, GA4 base code, page view, whatever you want to call it so you know this is kind of the base tag that you're going to install. Then we're going to click tag configuration and Google Analytics. So GA4 event would be for when you're actually going to set up custom events that you want to track. For now, we just want the basic data to load. So we're going to do Google tag and we're just going to paste in our tag ID. So remember, if we go back to the previous screen, this is the measurement ID right here. So we're going to copy that and paste it in. And we want this to trigger on all pages. So what this is going to do, I'm just going to type test here. So I remember to delete this, but this is going to fire the Google analytics for base tag on all pages. So we're just going to click save. And after this is saved, um, for now, I'm going to delete it. But what you would want to do is click submit. So basically, when we click this, you can name this, you can say G whatever note you want. So you remember this for reference. Uh, I'm just going to say GA4 code. And then you're going to click publish. And that's going to push that change live. And now you have your base code installed in Tag Manager. And as long as you've added your Google Tag Manager code here, that code is now live on the website. So after you've done the installation, one other thing you can do that I tend to like to do just to also double check here is go to reports and then real time. And then basically you can go to your websites. So we'll go to this, the website here. You can click around on a couple different pages, but you should start to see your activity in the real time. So whichever page you're currently on, you should see that. It, sometimes it takes a moment to appear. You should also see your location. So this lets you know that, uh, the tracking is working and it's live on the website. Now, only other thing we'll cover in this video is if you were gonna create a brand new GA4 account, getting the access to the code is very similar. So let's do uh, create account and we'll move on to the next step. Eventually we'll have uh, more videos on setting up an account from scratch, but you could choose your time zone here. We're just gonna click next. Um, for now, we're just gonna select any of these just for example purposes, we'll click there. And what we're gonna do is get to the screen where now we make our data stream. So typically you wanna put your website URL in here and we'll do that. Now we have our data stream. You'll see a similar page with the measurement ID, but Google will automatically uh, push you to the installation instructions. So right at this point, you now have that screen we had to access earlier by going to admin and data stream. So you can you can use this method, but I usually like to just grab the code manually and this would be the code and we follow that same process. So that's really it. Once you have uh, the basic install, the next phase, what you're gonna wanna look into is uh, custom event tracking. That's really where you're gonna get a lot of the value out of GA4 is through um, the custom events that you create to enhance your data, things like form submission, phone number clicks, button clicks, um, all sorts of things you're able to track. And that customization is really how you take your tracking to the next level. So this is the first step. You wanna have that basic data flowing into your account. And then once you've done that, then you could start to think about what additional data points that are not being tracked that you'd like to have tracked and map out a plan to build out those custom events.